Hello, welcome to this demo. I'm doing a quick demo here to show how a project manager can use uh, chat GPT or any other generative uh, platform for AI that can help you to summarize documents, can help you to extrapolate in important information for you as a project manager and put it in a format that's easier to understand or that's easier for you at least to get that information. So I have an example document here for a project chatter. Um, it's actually fairly well done. I've seen others and I'll do another one where it's very long and these tend to be for <laughs> like states or the federal government, that kind of thing. Uh, but right now I'm gonna give a demo of this short one. It's only two pages long. Um, they created a template that actually summarizes it, uh, but there's still a little bit of uh, information that is more in a sentence format than where you as a project manager, you may want to have things really spelled out or bulleted so that it's easier for you to understand instead of going and reading paragraphs, okay? So that's what I'm aiming for. So we have here, as you see, there's a problem, importance. Um, these are the sections I'm talking about. The aim essentially is what uh, that project will do. Um, and then as you see here, the measures, are risks, risks or barriers, uh, stakeholders that may be uh, part of the team, what would be considered in scope or out scope, which is the overall scope. And then they outline at least some part of uh, the schedule and how they want that to go. And then also they have a project team they that they outline. So here you have the, usually you have the sponsor at the top or sponsors. And um, here, of course, in this particular uh, case, they have created um, something, I think they're using Lean Sigma, um, where they have the blue belt and, you know, purple belt and other kinds of belt. So um, that is something that uh, for sure for this organization, um, it means something for them. And also just to specify, um, these have just, uh, it's online, so it's not a document that I've gotten ir illegally um, from um, an institute that helps with uh, creating or running projects that are healthcare quality improvement. So um, within healthcare, there tends to be matrices or KPIs that are measured by especially CMS, CMS being the Center of Medicare and Medicaid Services, which is a federal government essentially, and those have to be reported um, depending on what organization is or depending on what it is that they're doing. So in this particular, um, in this particular uh, project, this is for lung protective ventilation. So uh, it could be probably that when they uh, get someone in uh, who may have some lung problems, what are the measures that the, are being taken to help them <clears throat> with their respiratory problems or improvements on that? And those have to be reported. The reason for this is um, on the back end, usually uh, CMS is gonna try to uh, stop what they call readmissions in hospitals. They want to cut back on that. So um, they encourage different providers, in this case, a hospital, it may be a respiratory uh, patient hospital, or inpatient, and um, they want uh, those measures to be taken. You find that, uh, of course, many of this is not always the case, but many might be uh, seniors, and hence that they have either Medicare um, if they're not seniors, it could be they have Medicaid, which is someone before uh, the retirement age or the age when Medicare actually kicks in, okay? So that is the reason for this. Okay, so we have this, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy this. Um, again, it's not too long. And I'm just going to stop right here because I don't want to put the names of the people in um, in ChatGPT, okay? I just want just uh, the title there, and then we see what it's going to create for us, okay? So then I'm going to go here, and I'm just making sure that I have what, yeah, okay. 
I'm sharing this screen. So um, on this screen, I'm going to say, first of all, yeah, I'm going to, I'm going to paste this, excuse me, I'm going to paste. Right to me. Um, the project to me, the statement of work format from this, this project shadow statement below in a format that I as a project as a project to program manager can um better understand and also use to create <clears throat> A uh, project plan and project schedule. Where is the collation of the information from the charter? content document. Now, here I'm using uh, ChatGPT 3.2, as you can see here, sorry, 3.5, as you can see here. Um, there's a, uh, another one that is a plus, you know, um, which is a plus, uh, which is ChatGPT 4, Tabo, and um, that also can be used, but I like this one also, it does what it does best. And so I'm going to continue using this. Um, the thing also with that I like about maybe ChatGPT is sometimes uh, 3.5 will create a better summary uh, than the four. Um, but in this case, I'm going to um, you know use 3.5. Okay. So anyway, let's see what it gives us. I'm gonna just scroll here to show. Um, let me see here. Okay, um, I had to stop actually. <laughs> so here is a, uh, you know, what it's uh, created for us. I like it because it's numbered, um, it's bulleted, and I can easily find what it is that I'm looking for, um, in a much better format. So um, I do like this. Um, so anyway. Simon Mark provides a comprehensive overview of the land. Okay, so um, as you can see, uh, the last one would be a detailed list of the project members, their responsibility. It would be the same as I showed you in the document. So um, there you go. All right, Ho hopefully this is helpful. You can use that to create a summary uh, of your documents. And next time I'll also show how we can create probably like a template of where, what you can, you know, what you can show. Okay, thank you.